Welcome to the debrief for the Apex Group Bermuda Sail Grand Prix. Racing was so intense all weekend. It was so good to watch, but it was the Spanish that came out on top in an epic final. Three have extended from the rest of the fleet, so the rest of the season is going to become super interesting. For now, I'm going to dive into the tech site, chat to some of the sailors, and see how they feel their weekend went. And give it up for the Spanish. They will claim the victory here in Bermuda. Oh, vamos, the guys. Amazing <laughs> moment for this Spanish team. The Canadian team, they narrowly missed out on that final, but the good news is they've got a home event next. Let's go have a chat with some of their sailors. Painful way to finish the day, missing out on the final because of a count back. Um, how's the team? Yeah, the team's, uh, the team's a little up and down right now, but, you know, as athletes, we take our wins and our losses at a pretty high standard. So, you know, we're just looking forward to the next event, which is a home one. So, you know, we have a lot of support up there and pretty excited to come in and, you know, see what we can do. But all, all in all, we sailed really well. Yesterday was so tricky, and today we just made one small error at the end and unfortunately didn't, didn't get to the finish. But, you know, the next one's the next one. What can we say? Well, well, what can we expect in Halifax? Like wind-wise, spectator-wise, is it going to be a good show? Yeah, it's going to be a good show for sure. Wind-wise, it's going to be pretty, uh, hopefully it's going to be windy. Not really sure yet. Um, it is that time of the year where it's quite transitional, so it's still a little chilly up there, but it's going to be a tight, small race course, so there's going to be some action for sure. All right, I'll bring my puffer and see you in, in Canada. Yeah, exactly. Your big Canadian goose jacket. Got it, thank you. <laughs> the Australians, they're pretty gutted with third overall this weekend. They had such a good day yesterday, but had a few gremlins in the boat apparently today. I spotted their driver, Tom Slingsby. Let's see if he's up for a chat. Tommy, caught you having dinner. I know you're about to go catch a plane, um, but pretty pretty tough day from the Aussies for us, by the sounds of it. Yeah, it was. It was um, we, we've got to be happy with the third place. That's great. But um, yeah, we're perfectionists. Um, we're, as Australians as well, we're not happy with third and we want to win. And today we just weren't firing. Um, we didn't feel like we had the boat speed to match the Kiwis. And um, then that final, uh, Spain nailed the start. And yeah, so it was, it was a frustrating day. I know third's good, but we, we want better. Well, we know that you always want to win, but um, the New Zealanders were fast, but the Spanish are looking pretty rapid out there too. They really are, and they should they should take a lot of confidence from this because, uh, look, they're, they're in third place just behind us in the overalls, and um, the two most likely teams they're going to face in the final is uh, Australia and New Zealand, and they've just beaten us in a high-pressure final. So, um, yeah. Uh, Diego and his team, just hats off to them. They're sailing so well and uh, they're a real threat. I know you're not happy about today, but did you enjoy being back in Bermuda sailing? I do love Bermuda. I lived here for three years and the sailing conditions are unbelievable. Um, I wish the shifts would have gone our way a bit more, so I'm a bit upset about that. But uh, yeah, it's such a beautiful place and I'm hoping we can keep it on the calendar in the future. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you in Canada. Awesome. Thank you. The Black Foils, they are going to have to settle for second this weekend. They almost had it with the Spanish. I've spotted their female strategist, Liv Mackay. Let's go have a chat. Liv, it looked like you almost were able to grab it off the Spanish, but just weren't quite close enough out there today. Um, how's the team feeling? Yeah, I mean, it was super close racing, and I've, I've heard it was good to watch, but yeah, unfortunately, didn't quite get it and we were always out there to win so it was it was a bit hard to take. I mean so many positives for us this weekend but yeah not getting the win is, is always hard. I think there were four or five teams that could get that third place um, and it all reshuffled on the last leg. Um, were you trying to do maths or were you just like you're out the front cruising? I mean when it comes to five boats you can't, you've got to win the race basically. I mean going into that is pretty simple and anything could really happen. We thought it was going to be a pretty straightforward day but it turned out to be um, you know, pretty, pretty mixed bag. So I think from there it was just uh, we need to win and keep it simple. You're leading the championship. The prize money's just amped up. I think the final's almost two million dollars up for grabs. Um, I, how much do you want that win um, for the win and also for the prize money? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> racing comes first, but uh, that'd be a pretty good bonus. Yeah, I feel like. We've, since the beginning, we joined SailGP and we're, we've been eager to win ever since. So, yeah, I mean, we're putting all our effort into it and, and really focused on it. 
Thanks, Liv. See you in Halifax. See you there. Well, the benefit if you win, you get to pop the champagne and go to the hospitality lounge after, and the tech team crane your boat out for you. So I can't find any of the Spanish sailors right now, but I managed to speak to them just as they got off the water. Um, on that final upwind gate, obviously you slam the door on the New Zealanders, you force them to the, to the other gate and, and sort of run away from there. Um, did you did you want to hurt them or were you just wanted to do a left turn? <laughs> yeah, we thought it was the safest uh, move for us, no? We just tagging in front of them and keeping it, keeping them behind, behind us was, yeah, having them in control was the the goal there. They they tagged and yeah, they lost more, no, than than they would, no. So yeah, we I think was a a good call there. So with sailing, you obviously you've got to read the wind, you've got to make good decisions, you've got to make the boat go fast, you've got to make good boat handling, and then you've got to fight other boats. It, it sounds pretty complex. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean. You need to be used to it, to, to sail, no? as, as in every sport you need to have the muscle memory for everything to be able to combine all, this, all the things and, and good communication and, and cooperation. No? So yeah, we've been all our lives working on that and yeah, uh, we still need to improve a lot, we have room for it. Well you've already popped the champagne out on the water but um, I heard the sounds as you crossed the finish line, maybe describe that moment and, and what it means to the team and how you're going to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. It's that moment is amazing, and we learn from from LA that you need your goggles on, otherwise you're, you're, you 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 cannot open the eyes when you get the champagne in the eyes. But yeah, we we it's been an amazing moment. What what can I say about it? Let's take a look how this affects the season four championship. New Zealand they are still in the lead on 77 points. Australia trail behind in second on 67. Spain they've cemented their spot in the top three in third on 65 points. Rockwell Denmark they're almost 10 points behind in fourth. France are tied with them in fifth. Canada are in sixth. Then United States after missing the event they are in seventh. Emirates GBR in eighth. And then Germany and Switzerland rounded out in ninth and tenth. That wraps up the debrief for the Apex Group Bermuda Sail Grand Prix. It was such an epic weekend of racing. Thank you for following along all weekend and we will see you soon for the inaugural Rockwell Canada Sail Grand Prix Halifax.